Welcome back to the future, folks. Biff with Eddie's Guitars coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And boy, do I have a heavy guitar for you folks to check out today. In fact, this happens to be a pre-owned guitar. I should say it's a very lightly pre-owned guitar. Uh, less than a year old, actually. And this comes from Martin's Custom Shop. And this is one of uh, Martin's custom slope shoulder dreadnought guitars. And we don't see an awful lot of uh, slope shoulder dreads from Martin. You tend to see more of that square shoulder design, which is traditional for them. Uh, but I'll tell you, they do a fantastic interpretation on the body, uh, size and shape here for sure. And this thing has some awesome, just truly awesome upgrades to it. You can see that the top here is a gorgeous high altitude Swiss spruce. And man, this is a really tight grain top. It looks absolutely fabulous. Great creamy color to it as well. It just really looks good. And I, I really kind of prefer some of these tighter European spruce tops. They work great, have a nice chime to them. You can see a perfectly black dreadnought sized uh, pick guard on the top of the guitar. And the body itself has been bound in Madagascar rosewood. And it looks awesome, a very warm, rich rosewood. And the purfling on the top, as well as the rosette, are a black and maple, kind of an 18 style purfling and rosette there. Very clean looking for sure, well done. Back and sides of this guitar are a very rich and golden sinker mahogany. This stuff's been underwater a long time. Uh, it's got the benefit of age for sure, and the tone tells the story. I don't have to say much more about it. It sounds great, and we'll hear it momentarily, but it does look fabulous, which doesn't hurt a bit. This does have a genuine mahogany neck, uh, as well as an inch and three-quarter nut width down here, and we do have two and three-sixteenths spacing down here on the ebony belly bridge. Uh, we've got a matching Madagascar head cap here, and of course the nickel Waverly tuning machines kind of tying the whole package together really looks very traditional there. Uh, the bracing on this guitar is the 5 sixteenths of an inch wide fully scalloped Sidka bracing. So it's going to certainly give this guitar some good power and some good headroom. Uh, I gotta say, uh, I'm very impressed with Martin's interpretation uh, on this body style. This is, again, not necessarily uh, what you think of on a Martin Dread with that sloped shoulder, but they do a great job at it, and it's a little bit more refined sound than some of the other builders we know that utilize it all the time. So we ought to go take a listen to this guitar. It is very impressive.
Great Scott Marty McFly. This thing sounds awesome. Uh, awesome voice out of this guitar. Really powerful. Uh, has great character to it and really nice overtones out of the guitar. Normally a guitar like this being the mahogany and the slope shoulder design would uh, you'd kind of imply a more dry sound out of it, but I think Martin's interpretation on this body really kicks, has great sustain and great overtones with that sustain. Um, and a, just a really comfortable guitar to play. This has kind of a, uh, a very medium size C uh, shaped neck to it. Just a really lovely guitar to play. You absolutely ought to check this guitar out in person. It is completely unique. I've never had anything in the store like it, certainly not from Martin. So do check it out if you have the opportunity. I would love to show it to you in person. If you can't see it in person, do check it out on our website, eddiesguitars.com. And as always, do subscribe to our YouTube channel here. We'll see you guys next time.